What do we do with all these books? Dun 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 dun. Okay, what's up everybody? Happy uh, Wednesday. Monday. No, we're feeling on a Wednesday, yeah. but it's Monday. Oh, Monday. Just so the book comes out tomorrow! Oh! Oh, the book comes out tomorrow. Sorry. When this goes live, the book will come out tomorrow. Okay. We're filming this Wednesday night at 10 o'clock? Something like that? Oh, you can see the shape. You can see the... The shape of your muscles? Yeah. Oh, we're looking at Nina's muscles. Nina's proud of her mother. Well, give us a flex thing. Give us a full-on flex. Here. Here. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Let me see. Do it again. Hello. <laughs> I need to touch the flex. No. What? Look at that. That's solid work there. So, we have a ton of books here that I have to figure out what to do with. The publisher first sent me this. This is the very first copy. You guys have seen it in some of the videos. It's the soft cover version that there is no other soft cover version. We don't have a soft cover version. This is the the demo, uncorrected proof for limited distribution. This has a ton of spelling errors and, and anyways, just like to get it out into people's hands. This was the original first draft that I got. This is the, this is the advanced hardcover copy that I got that's been in my, on my display when you see me with the computer, which I was super excited by. Still proud of this one. This is the first one, guys. I need to put a mark in here or something. Got to make sure it doesn't get lost with all that. Oh. Well, hello, look at this. Who's that? Ah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's exciting. Okay, so all of these boxes full of books arrive. How many boxes? 17. Well, that's two boxes at the bottom. That's okay. So like 18. Eight, 18 boxes of books. I don't know how many. Oh, there's 12 in each. 18 times 12 is a big number. 196, I think. I think it's 196. Wait, no. No, I did it wrong. It's taking too long, Nina. Well, actually, yeah, it is 196. I, yeah, do the calculator. <clears throat> well, Anyways. we'll trust you. And so, I don't know what to do with these books. I'm on the fence. Let me, I could use some feedback, guys. I'm on the fence with this. So. Yeah, 196. Okay, <laughs> it is right. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay. okay. Nina's a smarty pants. And strong, a strong smarty pants. Are you sitting just like that so that the muscle yeah, will show? See. Is that what you do? See? <laughs> see, you can see. Hello. <laughs> okay, no, no. no Nina's sitting not like sitting. like this. I'm not. I'm this. just relaxing okay. here, sitting on the trampoline <laughs> in the. O <laughs> okay, so I'm back on topic. I really need help, guys. I need help with this. On the one hand, I want the book to get into as many hands as possible, and I want it to be consumed and distributed. And I've even thought as far as even me personally buying a whole bunch of copies to give out, even looking at my students at Toronto Dance Salsa or you know loyal um, website viewers and buying a couple thousand copies and giving them away to people because um, I want the message to spread. That's one side of me. The other side of me feels like when you give people stuff for free, they don't value it and they don't do anything with it. And it bothers me because the last thing I want is for people to get this thing and not use it, right? There's so much love in this and it's so, the, the impact is so uh, huge, potentially if you read it and actually apply it to your life, that I don't want people to just not value it and not read it and not do the work. So this is my struggle, you know, so I have 196? Yeah. We have 196 books. I don't need 196 books. I could sell the books, but it's not really the business I want to be in. It's not really the model. I could give them away, but I want to make sure they're, they're, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I want to give them away. Why don't you do something like that? What? They, in the radio, they doing a um, Merry Christmas. Like one person have vote, whoever needs to help the most for the, to have a Merry Christmas. To give them a book? <clears throat> yeah. But so you can't vote yourself. How you is that person? That person people. has to read it though. Yeah. So I'm going to throw it to you guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to charge Nina for one book, so she's going to take one to read on the subway. So that's 195 books left. I bought some myself. That's true, you did. But yours are coming later. Yeah. <clears throat> so Nina's going to take one. With signatures. With a signature. <laughs> and a lovely note. And a lovely note. Wow. <laughs> and there's going to be 195 left. 
I want to know what I should do with them. I think if I'm going to give them away, then, then, then how do I ensure that they get read? Because just saying I'm going to read it, it's not enough. Because people talk, people talk all day long and then they don't take action. You know, how many people said, I'm going to move to Canada when, you know, Donald Trump wins the election and then nobody, <laughs> like, people talk, people talk, and they don't do anything. And, I, I, and don't do that with my book. I'm going to be pissed off if you talk and don't do anything about my book. So I don't want to give it to those people. So how do we, how do we differentiate between the people who are going to do something? I need ideas, guys. Believe Nation. Over to you. Turn up. Leave it in the comments below. I need ideas. Okay, let's let's open one of these books. I wanted to make a video. Nina had to be in the. Nina insisted on being in the video. So. I didn't insist to be in the video. Let's open up a box and we'll see. Go, Nina. Go, Nina. Open a box. Nina, open a box. Use those muscles. Oops, Use your Nina strength that you're showing off. Oh. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Okay, Nina's going to pick one. Yeah, I know. It's okay. It's okay. Here, just go this one. Okay, that's <laughs> Nina's. I need a Sharpie. Do we have a Sharpie? I'll get you a nice pen. A ni no, not a pen. A Sharpie, no? What's Sharpie? Sharpie is like the, the marker, the black marker. That's what you're supposed to sign yeah. these things with. Okay, it's here. I have a... Right? I feel like I need to walk around with a sharpie now. I need to walk around with a sharpie so that we can do this. I don't have a sharpie. I have a pink highlighter. No. Huh? Nina no, gets the no, pink. No, use this one. This is a nice pen. Get a paper. Just scrub it on there first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> scrub on this. What did you call it? Scrub. Scrub. Uh, scrub. Scrap. 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 Is how you say it? Oh, look at that. It works it's perfectly. A nice pen. Okay, Nina's Nina. Oh, that's a Sharpie. What's this? I don't this? want it this. No, that's a thin Sharpie, though. That's a good one. I know, but it's going to go through. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to sign books with a Sharpie, but Nina likes doing things differently, so that's part of why I love her, by the way. That and that she's strong and is good at math and makes cooking videos. What's the next cooking video? I mean, people want the cooking videos, but I want the food. You sign it here or you sign it here? No, you sign it on the first page. Oh, really? You tell, where do you want to sign it? You tell me. I'll sign it wherever you want. I don't know. Huh? Where do you want? I'll sign here. You want me to just page two, 183? No. <laughs> <laughs> right here? Uh -huh. You want me to date it? <laughs> What's the actual date today? November 30th. Yeah. This is the first. I didn't even sign my own copy. November 30th. Dear Nina. Thank you so much for your it's just taking effort okay i'm thinking and writing and and, and i'm it's on a wobbly box okay here here i'll hold it please. okay thank you for your oh that actually helps your ongoing love and support none of this would be possible without your hashtag caring. <laughs> it's her one word is caring. Love forever forever. Did I spell that right? I think so. You kinda miss the R. No, I didn't where? Where's the R? Where? Forever. Okay. That's, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't, I'm freaking out. Love forever. And the heart with a balloon. What do you think? A balloon or no balloon? You, wanna, you feel it a balloon? Sure. You're the only one that gets the heart and the balloon, okay? That's a good balloon. Look at that balloon. That's an amazing balloon. Okay? Evan. Look at that! <laughs> guys, guys, this is the very first inscription of the book. Look, look, okay, now look, isn't that a great balloon? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Come on, look at that balloon. People are going to want their own. Yeah. Okay, you got the first. Okay? okay, love you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to move on to some questions, but before that, let me know. I need, I need your input. 
Leave in the comments. That's one down, 195 to go. What are we doing? Let me know. Okay? You want to answer questions with me? I don't know how to answer questions. What do you mean you don't have the question? Is your name Nina? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Give me the book back. Can't have to find the real Nina. It says Dear Nina. <laughs> okay, I'm going to answer some questions. So, first question. Replicant 70, bless you, Evan. Thank you. Your excitement is so infectious. I love it. I pre-ordered your book in the UK, so a study group format would really enhance my experience. Also, as someone who is super keen to write a book of his own, capturing your book publishing journey is mega valuable. Could all the relevant videos be bundled up in a book writing toolbox? You so deserve your success for all the value you're giving so many people in the world. Don't ever leave us, my friend. Cool. I mean, so much love there. Thank you for that. Replicant 70. As long as I'm enjoying having fun and feeling the impact, I'm not going to leave because this stuff fuels me. In terms of putting all the, all the content into a toolbox, maybe, I think if you go back on all of the videos, this is video number 77, so there's a lot of content around how to write a book, how to market a book, how to promote a book. Uh, there's a lot of content in there that if, if you are just starting up and trying to get a deal with a big publisher and understand how that works, I would check it out. I might condense it. I don't know. I don't know. It's not on my list of priorities. If I had to write another book on something or make a new product, it wouldn't be around how to write a book. I've got other things stewing in here. I got some, some things stewing, so we'll see. I don't know, I might come back to it, but thank you for the love. I really appreciate the question and the support from Amazon in the UK. Next up, Ombre de Saber. After hearing your schedule, I just wonder how you avoid getting distracted and just spend too much time on the gym, so you have to correct elsewhere. What's your method on that? I think having a schedule prevents me from getting distracted. I think knowing what I'm doing on different days, knowing what I'm doing when I wake up, having that, you know, I gotta be here by this time, gets me hustling and prevents me from getting distracted. I think when you don't know what to do, that's when you get distracted. When you, when you have as much time in the world, you get distracted. When I know that it's video day and I have three hours to make all my videos for the week, then I'm hustling and grinding and getting it out and I'm not super distracted. The other thing I find that really helps me is I will message myself. If I get an idea, I will send an email to myself and then usually on Fridays I'll go through all my emails and kind of sort out what I'm going to do with those so that I'll be the type of person if I get an idea it'll stick with me and I'll be so worried about forgetting it that I'll, I'll get distracted and stop doing something else or I won't give my 100% to it because I'm thinking about this idea. So I just email myself. That's it. Then I look through it on, on, on Friday. But again, most of that happens on the weekend. Most of it happens in leisure time. Most of it happens when, when uh, I come out of the shower or something. It doesn't really have, like when I'm focused mode, like right now, all I'm caring about is making this video for you guys. I'm not distracted or thinking about other stuff or what I have to do tomorrow. I'm just focused on what I'm doing. So yeah, I don't know. I think having the schedule keeps me from getting distracted. The B-Thong pre-order is done in Germany. Bonuses arrive. Thank you and your team, especially Sandra. Sandra has been awesome. Um, Sandra is sending out all the bonuses. So if you buy a copy of the book and then email us your receipt, you get a whole bunch of free bonuses. And depending on how many you buy, you get more bonuses stuff uh, as well. And so, uh, yeah, Sandra's been amazing. Uh, this definitely would not have been possible without Sandra's help. And so I'm glad you're feeling the love that came back from that side too. Next up, Berthony. This was an awesome video. Do you want us to forward you our receipt or can you reply with your email again? Uh, hashtag VTA21. Email in your receipt. If you go to the website that has the, the book, uh, evancarmack.com slash one word, on there is an email, there's a link. I think you have to click on the sale and then there's an email link. Click on that, it'll email it to, it won't come to me, it'll come to um, Sandra at a special email address and then you'll get your, uh, your bonuses and I'll make my special video, thank you video most likely for you. So yes, please email in your seat. It also helps us keep track, which we can use that data to tell uh, the book retailers in different states where we're getting some interest and so they'll make sure to stock it in those stores. So that's helpful and relevant too. So yes, please 
email in your receipts. Abdullahi. Hi Evan, what about the weekends? So this is a reference to my last video talking about scheduling. On the weekends, it's usually family stuff. Saturday is usually our activity day, so we might go hiking, we might check out a new restaurant, we might go to a show, we might go to a movie. Um, it's usually something different to do in the city. Uh, Nina's a big fan of different food, trying out different food places and the outdoors, and so I try to factor that in as much as possible, try a different restaurant, new kind of food, some new place that's opening or some new dish that's out, or getting out of the city and going off and some hikes. We had some amazing uh, fall hikes. How many did we do? Three? Two. two. Two fall hikes? We did two hikes and it's great to see the leaves changing colors. Uh, and so usually Saturday is something fun to do because we're working uh, basically all week between my work doing this and my business and then trying to dance salsa and Nina's involved with TDS as well. It's a pretty crazy week which we enjoy but it's nice having a day to uh, just be together and have fun. Sunday ends up being our family day slash errands day. Um, Nina does some TDS stuff as well on Sunday and so it's 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 cleaning up the condo or uh, going to Home Depot and doing some improvements or um, going to Nina's parents house and having breakfast or lunch uh, just family and errands day is typically our Sunday um, I'll be on email on breaks and stuff you know if we're standing in line at Home Depot or whatever but there's no scheduled work I don't have anything planned in on Saturday or Sunday that I have to check a video or respond to email or you know, get back to my team members. It's kind of off limits, which helps me also come up with ideas for what I want to do. Gives me a little bit of freedom and flexibility and that lets me email myself those ideas that I can follow through up during the week. Next up, David the Superhero. My post on an Evan video. Today is an amazing day. I love that, David. The energy is awesome. Uh, and yeah, I remember it wasn't going so well at the start. My thoughts back then were, how is it possible that this guy is getting this few views, but you just kept going and here we are eight, almost nine years later, you're the living embodiment of your word. Thanks, David. I really appreciate that. You know, we're coming up on uh, half a million subscribers on the channel. It's been an amazing, amazing journey. Uh, I didn't realize it started almost nine years ago. If you asked me, I probably would have said maybe six or seven, but it's crazy that it's been nine years. Yeah, and the early videos were not getting a lot of views and not, like, if I had one comment, I was over the moon, excited and happy. And it's just grinding it out and doing more videos and improving the process and getting better. And, you know, here I am, 10 o'clock on a Wednesday night, making a video to give Nina her first book and to chat with you guys. And so, it's, it's again, it's the torture that you enjoy, that other people would see as torture, but you just, you love the work. You gotta love the process. And, and uh, the past nine years have been fun, and I look forward to keep doing it until I stop getting interested in it, and then I'll go do something else. But for now, you guys got me. Next up, Chef Bruno. Hey Evan, just wanted to throw a big up for your new book and a huge thank you for most of your videos. I'm not commenting ever. Well, I appreciate you commenting on this one, Chef Bruno. I know I shouldn't, it gives motivation, and I also like to receive comments on what I do. Help people quit smoking in China. Every day and every early evening, one hour of your channels with top 10 rules, how, to, how others persist. My girlfriend and I are real grateful for what you do as it helps us and enlighten us on how to stay on track and keep developing our businesses. So just one more time, big up and keep up this amazing thing you have. It's great and we love it. That's awesome, man. I really appreciate that. I'm really feeling the love there. I'm curious to know what... Uh, what kind of chef you are and the, the food you're making, Nina, I'm sure would enjoy talking and chilling and checking out your YouTube channel when you get that going. One thing that I find really interesting is people who watch the videos together, especially uh, couples or business partners, watching it together and just talking about it afterwards. Like, what did you get from that or what did you learn from that or what was your favorite point? And it always leads to more uh, insight and discussion into what that other person's all about, what they found most interesting, and then it, it really enriches the conversation and brings a lot more insight into your life and your business. And so if you have a business partner, if you have an, another entrepreneurial friend who you think might value the videos, I would, I would suggest just trying at least once having uh, a viewing party or just sitting down and watching one of the top 10 videos together 
in pausing it when you want to talk about something and then just uh, just having a conversation about it afterwards. I'm curious, I think it would be really, really enriching and I would challenge you guys to, uh, to give that a shot. And if anybody does, and you do it together, film a quick video of you guys doing it together and what you learned from the video, what the video was and what you learned, film that, send it to me. I wanna see it, I wanna see it. You might even get featured on the channel. I'm, I'm just saying, it might happen. Next up, Jill Stella. Whatever party you decide to have, I want to be there. Congrats, Evan, on your book release coming soon. Thanks, Jill. Yeah, maybe. I'm still on the fence. I don't know. When I'm on the fence, I tend not to do things. And when I, when I get excited about something, I just, I just go out and do it. So, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe I'll just hit, get hit with inspiration. A lot of Toronto people want to just do something and, and will show up and get it going. I don't know. I'm going to sit on it, Jill. I don't know. I love the, I love the support, though. Thank you so much really means a lot. Diallo, hey, I see Steve Jobs behind you. Great. Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I believe the environment's important. Where you work is important. The people around you is important. What's on your walls is important. You know, you, you have the ability, wherever you work, to do something. Even if you're at a job somewhere, you can have a little picture somewhere. Um, I did a video that we can link up that talked about the people on my wall and why. The ones you can see here, this is Jobs, this is Howard Schultz who started Starbucks, and that's my parents and me when I was seven years old. So yeah, I think it's important to have an environment that, uh, that builds you up. Next up, legacy artist, Big Homie Evan, putting in that work. I love that, bro. I've never been called Big Homie Evan. So that's, that's a first, I'm feeling it. Thanks, man, I really appreciate it. I feel like we might need a Big Homie Evan theme song or something. I could, I could get down to that, have it on kind of repeat before I'm making videos, give it a good beat, get to work on that. Legacy artist and all you other fans out there. I want, I want a soundtrack. Dimitar. Hey there, Evan. Appreciate your videos. They're always so inspiring and helpful. I do, however, have problems with managing my time. Come to think of it, I spend way too much time on the breaks and I don't know how to schedule my learning process. Plus, there's a lot of things that I can't learn on my own and I need help and there's no one to help me. Can you give me advice on that, please? One, answering the second part first, you can learn a lot of stuff on your own, man. Like, the resources out there are insane compared to what they used to be. If you want to learn about entrepreneurship, I'm giving you free content multiple times per day of some of the best and brightest people in the world that can help you do your thing. So that's one resource, but there's lots of people who are doing their own thing too. If you want to learn about marketing, there's marketing channels. You want to learn about sales, there's sales channels. You want to learn about <clears throat> cooking, call up Chef Bruno, you know, or there's other cooking channels that you can check out too. Whatever skill you want to learn, it's never been easier. I mean, it used to be go to a library. There's books on this. Whatever you want to learn, it's in a book. Uh, now there's videos on it too. Like it's, it, 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 you don't have an excuse for seeing there's nobody to teach you because there, there are people online. The, the resources that you have are insane. So just start learning it. Just get past the mental block to say you don't have. I don't have the people. I don't have. Uh, entrepreneurs in my life guiding me and giving me direction and, and I'm asking their feedback on. The people that I look up to are the people that I'm making videos on. I consider them my mentors and my teachers and every time I do a top 10 video or Believe Life or any of those series, I learn something from it that I apply to my life and my business. And so you could do exactly the same thing. The first part was about spending too much time on breaks. I think you just need to do something that you like. If you love the work, then you don't spend too much time on breaks. Right? Like if I'm talking to an entrepreneur, I don't, when I went to go make the audio version of this book, I didn't want a break. I didn't want a food break. I didn't want a bathroom break. I didn't want a break at all. We broke only when the, the crew, you know, were at their limits and like, I really need to go to the bathroom. Okay, 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 let's break. I didn't want a break. You know, when you love what you're doing, you don't want a break. And so uh, I think you just need to find more meaningful work that really inspires you, then you won't need to break. You won't spend too much time on your breaks. I mean, yes, at some point you need to break, okay? But you're not gonna spend way too long on a break because you can't wait to get back to the work, right? You wanna get back to the project. Next up, three colors, ZZZ, 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 Canadians. Uh, you say that you have two businesses, your YouTube channel and Toronto Dance Salsa. My question is, how do you make money from your Evan Carmichael YouTube channel since it's a business? Thanks. My Evan Carmichael business is not just a YouTube channel. It's my website. Half my team is just on the website. I started on the website uh, and then I added YouTube to the mix. So my website has been around a lot longer. Um, that's advertising. That's, that's brand deals. That's partnerships. Um, on the YouTube side, 
it's basically the same mix. It's advertising, it's brand deals, it's um, moving into product, right? Selling the book, uh, getting speaking gigs, that kind of work. Like when you, when you have attention, then people want to work with you. And so if you're starting a YouTube channel and you're trying to get a business model around it, some of it will be advertising, but then you need to think about how you can monetize the attention better that you're having, whether that's, like I don't do a lot of product sales, but you could do, you could do t-shirts, you could do um, pins and buttons or e-guides. E I could have made a lot more money selling this myself and not using a publisher, right? Back to the, the point at the top, like I could, I could take these 200 books and just sell them myself. Whether I give them for free or uh, do some kind of promotion with them, like it's not a ton of money in my pocket and every ongoing sale that happens I, I don't even know what I make. The percentage is tiny, right? Like authors, you don't make a ton of money off of a book. It's not the game. But it's the attention that you get that then you can funnel ideally into other things. The SMA 091 family? I don't get the question. I love my family though. The B Thong. What the? Two books cut down the one? Is there a way to get the 60,000 words as a bonus ebook for the people who pre-order, like me and all the other people, by the way, in bold. I ask because it's too bad to know that 60,000 words from your heart and soul haven't made into the book. Maybe you can discuss some content in the Hangouts. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I don't know what I'm going to do with the extra 30,000 words. 30,000 words? No, 60,000 words. 60,000. It was 120,000 total. Yeah, so 60,000 words. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My publisher wants me to, my agent wants me to hold off and save it as another book. And I'm like, I already have two other books in mind and it's not this. I don't want to release this as a book. This isn't a book. It, like, it's, 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 an, it's an extra for this book, but it's not its own book. And she's, she's not happy with me about that. She wants to release it as another, because it's basically already written. It has to be proofread and, you know, a couple minor things to be fixed up, but it's basically already written. I don't know, I might. It's one of the things too, like the book launch party, I might do something with it. Um, maybe address it on the Hangouts. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited about the Hangout series to then go deeper and, and answer the questions. So if we do a chapter per week to then be able to give really rich feedback to you if you've read the book, because I want to make sure people are reading the book, right? Like, I want you to read the book and do the exercises. And if we go through chapter one, and then you guys have questions about chapter one, then I'd love to be able to address those for you. And then maybe we'll, we'll, we'll seep into some extra content. I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one in mind. IWCIO pre-ordered on Audible. Thank you so much, love. I really appreciate it. Make sure, again, you email in your receipt. I want to make sure that you're getting the bonuses and we can keep track too. And last up, Daniel Messer, do you create most of the videos yourself with a full-time job? I find it hard to create a blog post daily and edit, record any suggestions. So at this point, I am not, rec I'm not doing everything myself. I have a team, well, we can go through them. I have, th I have three editors, I have a researcher, I have someone who man manages a lot of my comments, I have a, a someone else with the strategy and the direction, but that's part-time. Um, and I have a cameraman who works, who's also part-time. So let's, let's throw those two in the one. So six people? Am I missing anybody? Maybe. Some people help on the audio and stuff. So like six, seven people plus me doing the videos, right? That's only on the YouTube side. There's another six people, seven people on the website side doing other stuff. Yeah, I mean, when I started, though, it was just me, dude. I was doing everything, everything. I was making one video a week, but I was doing everything. I was doing the research for it. I was doing the camera work for it. I was in front of the camera. I was doing all the editing. The editing was what killed me. The editing was, it took a ton of time, and I didn't enjoy it, and so I was really slow at it. And then the first person that I hired on the YouTube side, once I started making a little bit of money, was a part-time editor that evolved into a full-time editor. And that editor allowed me to go from making a video a, a week to a video a day. That, so that's like seven times, right? There's a lot more content. And then as I, I built my team, we could go to two videos a day and then three videos a day and sometimes four or five videos a day, just depending on the schedule. Yeah, and it started off with, um, you know, if I look at my editing team, Christina does a ton of the work on the editing. Hi, Christina. And then as we started building up more content, she's like, this is a lot. I, I, I'm, I'm struggling to meet all of our deadlines and get everything out. 
and she said, hey, my husband Sam is also a video editor, maybe he could do some of the work. And he started off as part-time, and then we filled up his schedule and he became full-time. And so, you know, he's, he's working under Christina. And now as we expand it even more, we need, they're both crunched for time. And so their friend is also a video editor who works for us now. And so <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work doing this stuff. I mean, and, and there's me, I have to sit there and record 20 videos every week, right? It's a, it's a ton of work. But going back to the early stages, yeah, you, you just gotta, you gotta put it in your schedule, the time to make it happen, you know? Monday afternoon, I'm going to record my video every week and I block, you know, you could block off two hours to make a video or an hour. I don't know how good you are in front of a camera, how long it takes you. You know, block off two hours to make a video. And then Thursday afternoon, you're going to block off three hours to do the editing for it. Whatever it is, like however long it takes you to do it, schedule it in so that it gets done. The big rocks first because otherwise you're not going to do it. It's always going to be on this one day list and you're always going to feel like you're behind on it and you never have enough time to do it. It's not going to happen until you schedule it in and make it a priority in your calendar. That's it guys. I'm going to end it there. How long is this video? We're getting up there on time. So I got to get back to Nina. We're going to watch some uh, Arrow, I think, and enjoy the rest of our night. Uh, if you have a question about my book, uh, which launches tomorrow, crazy. If you have a question about uh, my book writing process, and if you have any thoughts on what I should do with those 195 extra books, please leave it down below and uh, I'm gonna review and answer your questions in next week's video. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's really meant a lot to me. This, this you know, really wouldn't be happening without all of you guys behind and your encouragement and your endorsement and your support. Just, it's overwhelming, it's amazing. I really appreciate all of you, so thank you. Uh, I believe in you guys. I hope you continue to believe in yourselves and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon.